Number 54, Integrated Concepts. A short circuit to the grounded metal case of an appliance occurs as shown in figure 23.6. The person touching the case is wet and only has a 3 kilo ohm resistance to earth ground. Letter A, what is the voltage on the case if 5 milliamps flows through the person? So um, what we know here is we know the resistance of the person and we know the current that flows through the person. In other words, if we look at Ohm's law, we can find the voltage across a particular item, in this case the person, if we know the current flowing through the person and the resistance of the person. So we can actually calculate the voltage through the person. So we just simply plug in the values. This is 5 milliamps. You know we need that in amps, so simply take that, multiply it by 10 to the minus third. This is kilo um, ohms, and you know that we need that in ohms, right? So this is going to be 3 times 10 to the positive 3 ohms and then the voltage flowing through the person now is going to be 15 volts now that's the voltage through the person but they're asking here if you look at the picture that's the voltage across the person but they want to know the voltage over the case now remember if you look at the nature of this the current is flowing right here and then it has a point of bifurcation right this is now a parallel arrangement here so anytime you know that there's a parallel arrangement, you know that the voltage passing through one item is the same as the voltage passing through the other part, and it was the total voltage then equal to the total voltage that was supplied. This goes way back to, to circuits now, okay? So uh, since it's the parallel arrangement, the voltage through the person is equal to the voltage over the case, and therefore it's 15 volts. So that is letter now uh, A. Letter B then says... Uh, what uh, current, what is the current in the short circuit if the resistance of the earth ground wire is 0.2 ohms, okay? So now it wants to know the, uh, the, and the current, by the way, is not constant. The current flowing through this person will not be constant as the total current that is flowing through the case because as the current comes to this point of bifurcation, some of it goes that way, some of it goes this way. So we know that the sum of those two points, this and this, would be equal to the total that comes in, right? That's that's junction rule, right? We we remember all this stuff. So um, so since it's asking now, uh, what is the current? We can use then uh, basically in the earth ground wire, right? We need to know then. So in order to find the, uh, so let's use Ohm's law again. V is, v is equal to IR. If I need to find then the current, right, in the short circuit. Uh, then what I need to do is I need to, and it says in the short circuit, yeah, so I guess in the whole thing, right, person touching case, what, what is the voltage on the case, is the current in the short circuit, yeah, I guess this is the short circuit part, sorry, okay, so this is the short circuit part, yeah, so this is the question, uh, Mark, so it says, uh, in order to find that current in the short circuit, we have to know the resistance of the short circuit and the voltage of the short circuit, so now remember, since this was all parallel, uh, we know voltage is 15 still, I know this is voltage of the case and this is voltage of the person, but that's the same as the voltage in the short circuit is equal to I then multiplied by the resistance of 0 0.2. All right. So now when we take this, I is going to be equal to then, it's going to be uh, 15 divided by 0.2, right? And that works out to be 75 volts. So that is now the current that's flowing in the short circuit. And then it says, will, uh, let us see, will this trigger the 20 amp circuit breaker? Yes. Anytime the current that's flowing through is larger than the uh, current rating of the breaker, it trips, all right, or triggers. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helps. You know what to do, and I'll see you soon. Take care.